The EPA is putting out stiff new emission standards that could force car makers to ramp up electric car production. Welcome back. I'm Kirsten Holmes. I'm Carlo Chiquetto. The EPA announced the plan today. CBS 8's Jesse Pagan is here breaking them down and what they could mean for you. Jesse. Yeah, guys, the government can't mandate what kind of cars automakers sell, but it can limit how much pollution all of the cars they sell generate. So working within that, the EPA's new standards are limiting enough. Experts say the auto industry will have to go fully electric sooner than it plans to, and that's sure to draw some legal challenges. I'm pleased to announce that EPA is proposing the strongest ever federal pollution technology standards for both cars and trucks. The Environmental Protection Agency is proposing new emission standards to cut pollution and turbocharge electric car sales in the U.S. If the rules become law, the EPA estimates by 2032, 67% of all passenger cars, trucks, and SUVs will be electric, along with 50% of vocation vehicles like buses and garbage trucks and 25% of long-haul freight trailers. Today's actions will accelerate our ongoing transition to a clean vehicle's future, tackle the climate crisis head on, and improve air quality for communities all across the country. The EPA says the rules would avoid 10 billion tons of CO2 emissions, which is about two years worth across the U.S., but some say the proposals are speeding past automakers. The question we have to ask right now, are we ready to scale smart? with the auto industry. Auto industry advisor and former GM executive Larry Burns says the EV market is still young and there's a lot to learn. This is tough, tough work to do. And to go from where we are today in the U.S. to two thirds of our, our vehicles being um, uh, battery electric vehicles by 2030 to 2032, boy, that's a, that's a pretty big ask. Not just for automakers, but for the government, which will have to scale up EV charging infrastructure to support all the new electric cars it wants to see. Now, California is no stranger to this world, right? Last year, Governor Gavin Newsom said he wanted all new vehicles sold in the state to be hybrids or fully electric by 2035. The EPA itself would actually need to sign off on that first for California. In the meantime, a hearing for the EPA's own new rules on emissions is scheduled for early May. Carlo?